Hi guys, welcome back to Art with Miss Karen. Today's video suggestion comes from Annika. She wants us to draw a porcupine. So go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pencil and let's get started. To draw a porcupine, we're going to start with a circle for the head. After that, you're going to go ahead and draw an oval right next to the head. You go ahead and make the oval touching the head circle because porcupines don't really have a long neck. Okay, so we're going to keep those shapes right next to each other. Let's go ahead and add in the rest of the porcupine's face shape. So their, their face is more of a rectangle shape, kind of like a dog. So we'll give them two lines on either side of the circle with a straight line connecting them. Okay? And then for the body, let's go ahead and add a small triangle on the end to help us when we draw all of the quills. That's going to be his tail that will support the quills. And we can connect the head and the body. We're going to go ahead and make a curved line from the top of the head to the top of our oval. And that'll help us make his back really smooth. And for this part, we can make a curved line going down. So we're connecting all of our shapes in a really smooth transition. For the legs, you can go ahead and make a circle for the shoulder, a square for the top part of the arm, another square connecting that one, and an oval for the paw. Their legs are going to be pretty short. For the back leg, we're going to do a similar thing where we have a circle for the top part of our back leg, a square next to that, and an oval for the paw. You can connect to the top of our square in a curve shape like this, in a curve shape underneath it as well. So let me erase that so you see what the whole leg looks like together. So for the back leg, let me just reinforce some of those lines. That's what you want your back leg to look like. Okay? And then you can continue and follow that same shape for the other back leg, a curved line with an oval at the bottom and a straight line going up for the other back leg. For the other front leg, we'll make it at the same level as our back leg that's far away from us. You can make a square shape with an oval at the bottom. Okay, so this is the basic shape, the basic foundation of our porcupine, and we'll go ahead and finish tidying up these shapes, and then we'll start adding the texture and the quills. So let's go ahead and get rid of the rest of our oval for the body shape, the circle shape for the head, part of our shoulder, and then the lines inside of the arm. And I'm just going to reinforce the lines that I want to keep. Before we start adding the quills, let's go ahead and do the claws. 
So porcupines have some very long, sharp claws to dig out the food that they want to eat. So let's go ahead and erase the very end of our oval for our paw so that we can add the claws. They dig out of rotting trees for insects in the ground, and that's why they have these awesome claws. So really these are just long curved triangle shapes. So erase the front of your oval, start in the middle with the claw that's closest to you, and then keep working your way up. Okay, let's add some more details in the face. You can add an oval for the nose. We're going to add a curve line for the mouth. And you can curve that last corner on the head to make it a curved chin. We're also going to add in a furry texture where our circle shape was for the jawline. For the eye, you can just make an oval shape with a circle inside it that we're going to leave white. Okay, now the fun part begins. So we're going to start drawing the quills. And um, we don't want it to look like a scary creature. Um, if you want to make it look scary, you can. But what I like to do when an animal has a lot of texture, or in this instance, it has a lot of quills, we can draw a basic shape to show what the outline looks like, but we're not going to draw every single quill. So just like if you were drawing a horse's mane, you would draw the outline of the horse's mane instead of every single hair. And that's kind of the same thing that we're gonna do here as well. Um, oh, he also needs a little ear. So draw a circle shape with a line on it. Okay, so for the quills, we're gonna start halfway on his back and we're gonna make his quills sticking out. When a porcupine is relaxed, the quills are gonna lay flat, but I assume that we all want our porcupine to look as interesting as possible. So we're going to make his quill sticking up. So let's go ahead on a halfway on the back, you're going to draw a line going up. And then we're just going to draw some grass shapes that point down and meet up with the bottom of the tail. Okay. So now we can go ahead and erase this part of the back. And we can go ahead and add some more details to make this look like all of the quills that we want it to appear to be. So we're gonna add some upside down Vs pointing out in the direction that we want them to go. And we can make a few longer lines up here where they start. Let me make that one pointier. To show that all of these are longer. And sometimes I like to, if there's two of them, the next one can be a little bit in between and a little bit higher up. Just like that. So there's two here, I put the next one in the middle of it and you don't need a lot. So already it appears that there are a lot of quills on the back of this porcupine. And I'm gonna make um, one that is by itself, and maybe one more here, to just show that it's a whole group of quills working together 
to make this big bunch. Okay, so now we have our quills and for this porcupine, I'm looking at the picture of this porcupine, the quills are actually black and white stripes. So if you want to take your time to color some black stripes on your quills, you can do that. If not, that's okay. But I'll just do a couple here and there to show the different colors that you can have on the quills. So maybe there'll be a few spots here and there. Okay, so there's our quills. Now we're also going to need kind of a mohawk on our, from the top of the head all the way to our quills. Your porcupine's going to have kind of a mohawk thing going on. So we're going to draw some grass shapes that go back. And you could draw some lines to show the hair. And just like we drew those grass shapes for the cheek, I think that we could also do some textures um, around on the legs to show that it's not a smooth skin animal, that this is a pokey animal all around. So I erased this line to sh so that I can draw some grass shapes for the fur. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing again um, for the belly. I'm gonna erase this oval line and draw some furry shapes down there. And then I'm also gonna do it for the back of the leg. You don't have to do it for every single line, just for a few. Cause just like in up here, we didn't need to draw every single quill. We just wanna give the appearance of that texture. We don't have to draw every single detail. And then I think the last thing I'm going to do is erase this top line and help that mohawk look even more awesome. So I'm going to do that texture up on top as well. All right, our porcupine's looking pretty happy. So let's go ahead and give him a forest floor to enjoy. So I'm going to draw some scribbles for him to stand on. And maybe there's some trees nearby and scribbles to show the bark. Maybe there's a little bit of grass nearby. There's our porcupine. Thanks again for joining Art with Miss Karen. I hope you enjoyed drawing this porcupine with us today. If you want to share your art with me, go ahead and send it to artwithkaren at gmail.com and I would love to see what you did today. Also, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what you want to draw next time. I hope to see you soon.